art tour. Anybody want to come to a free art tour of historic Cambridge? Down this little pathway, a bunch of murals. I'm going to explain the meaning behind them. Anybody? Okay. All right, well, thank you for coming to the uh, free art tour. Um, this is all, all work that I've done, uh, different, different periods um, in my artistic career. Um, each, each section kind of has its own motif. Um, and I call this one my pink, my pink flower period. Um, not because of the big pink flower, but because of this X, X line, um, black line down through. Um, that's kind of like what marks this period of my, of my work. Um, as you can see here, um, we have water, water bottle stickers, and it's, a lot of people think it's because I was drinking a lot of water at the time, but it's not true. Um, I was actually very thirsty, and so I was thinking of uh, you know coming through and and putting stuff on there. It wasn't even about my thirst; but it was more of like a metaphysical thirst um, for something beyond beyond myself. This this wall here took me about. 62 days of painting non-stop. I slept out here on the floor um, with a kind of a, in a, in a little tent kind of thing, and the cops came a lot, but that doesn't matter. So this is my this is my next movement. After being being here for 62 days, this particular wall took me 30 minutes. Um, I took uh, kind of cutouts of what my brother I think would look like, my adopted brother, though I don't know what he looks like. I kind of think of him as as a guy kind of painting, um, painting against a wall with, with a long stick and. Um, and so I thought, oh, what you but because once again you see this motif. Dude, I haven't left this motif yet. This is kind of this is probably my this is probably my angriest my angriest painting right here. Um, it's actually my ex-girlfriend. Not exactly, I mean it's not to scale by any stretch. But there was a lot that has to do with her teeth. She has very distinct teeth. And I, I think I was just trying to deal with the fact that she cheated on me with my best friend at the time, which represents this candle, the candle of friendship, the candle of, of love. And then here, like lighting a cigarette with a candle, which in Tibetan cultures is bad luck, and you have to actually pay reparations to the family when you light a candle, cigarette with a candle. I think it's also about words, about wanting to go to other places, aeroplanes. Aeroplanes, which in a Jungian sense, are pushing us off. We're going elsewhere. And I think um, I, this I did later, than this. This is I needed to do this in order to to fly, and I also needed to buy a ticket. And by the way, I bought the ticket was drawing me. So I don't know if you can, if you guys want to come in closer and see this, but it represents three blind mice on strings. And I think like sometimes um, as an artist, I feel like that. I feel very confined by by the by the world. You know what I mean? And and so these three blind mice are are stuck. They can't go anywhere. They're on strings, but they don't know they're on strings because they're blind. And here is the, here's the question that my, my mom and my dad ask me pretty much daily, who am I? You know what I mean? And then when you ask someone else that, that actually gives you a different perspective on, on who you are. I thought, what better way to do that than kind of like an Andy Warhol, once again, greatly influenced by Andy Warhol movement, with the pink lips, kind of the Joker kind of thing, but it's more than that. It's like, it's much more because each color has a color psychology to it. And so, you know, the blue, the blue makes you relax. The green, totally. the green kind of tenses you up. The pink just oh hits you. It strikes just you. Like that. It strikes you big time. <laughs> and so this is kind of, now, finally, we came, this is kind of, we're getting towards the pinnacle of, of my work. This is kind of getting towards where I've created what I wanted to create. Here, here's one of my first self-portraits. There's many, I'm all over these walls. <laughs> So if you think this is only a self-portrait, this entire wall, my entire life is my self-portrait, and I paint it with my feet. But, you know, um, and I'd gone to study at the, uh, at the Luge in uh, Paris, and I had some great professors there that kind of taught me about that art's more than just drawings and pictures, but it's about, it's about paint and sometimes other stuff, you know? And I really enjoyed that. So as, we come, as we're coming, you know, we're really starting to, I'm starting to really grow as a, as a as an artist here, I want you to look at the shape and, and say what the shape is, as opposed to me telling you what that what that shape is. Now here, I actually adopted a family of geese um, that were lost. I was living at the time in Cambridge, and I had plenty of room in my apartment, so I kind of adopted some uh, some geese, and this is kind of the, their effect on my life. I think this top painting, if you can see it, speaks for itself. Um, kind of wolf, breast, person, Peru. I was actually reading books about Peru and I wanted to go there, but I don't think I even need to explain that. And here, this is kind of my representation of my friends. 
my friends are just, they're just like, for me, little colorful monsters that eat all my food. You know what I mean? And so they next to me, you know, like, where am I? All my friends are having a party, but where am I? I'm not here. I'm not here. Like, but here, everyone else is watching what my friends are doing at the party. All these people are watching, but yet I'm not there. I can't be there. You know what I mean? And this, that's my representation of God. God is kind of plus, and you kind of have the omega symbol, but then he's yellow, yellow smiley face. And that's kind of like, I was like, I found God through the process of all this here. Like, I, by this point, we're getting towards the end of the murals. I'm like, this is where, this is where God is. For me, this down here, I suck. I realize I suck in light of God. This year, I couldn't, I couldn't resist doing stuff to this door. Because doors, you know, they represent, you can go indoors, you can go outside of doors, you can go, you can go around doors if there's windows. And so I thought, hey, what I'm going to do is come back to my original motif, which represents but no, the black line. But yet, there's lots of pictures. Upside down crown, I left God behind. I left God there because the crown's upside down. Asterisk, most important symbol in all of Western culture is an asterisk. Because what does an asterisk mean? It means pointing to something else. It's like this word means something, but there's an asterisk next to it. So it means, oh, i got to go down here to get the definition. The word's not defined by itself. It's defined by an asterisk, you know? And so we're, as we come across, this is much more my, my late, late work. I've left myself well behind, come through religion, and here I, here I emerge. I'm emerging. This is who I am. In my basest, purest sense, I'm, a, I'm an older native woman. I'm an older woman wrapped in this kind of shawl, and, and all around me there's death, and there's... There's, you know, there's bucks and deer and all these things going on and all this stuff. It's busy, busy. But yet here I am. I'm kind of the calm center, the warm center of the universe. This is where I ended. I ended where I began in some ways with a pink flower. But the pink flower is no longer pink. It's just white words, white letters. So I thank you for taking this, this tour with me today. Um, I learned a lot about myself through going through it again and thinking about where I was. Um, I think a lot of it, and I failed to mention this, a lot of it was influenced by my love for ramen noodles.